Hey guys, so MetaZoo finally, finally filed for bankruptcy on 520. Unfortunately, it was a month later, right? 420, and then there would be stocks to the moon, to the moon, to the moon, right? God, man, they missed the opportunity. If only they filed on 420, I'm sure, you know, investors of MetaZoo would flood the gates with billions and trillions of dollars. Maybe even Joe Biden will throw out some money to uh, MetaZoo because he loves, you know, these charitable contributions, right? But anyway, let's talk about MetaZoo. So on May 20th, Petition Chapter 7, Voluntary Petition for Non-Individuals, Order for Relief, Incomplete Filing Date, uh, Chapter 7 Statements, Income. So part of filing for bankruptcy is they have to reveal their books publicly. So you can pay a amount of money uh, to this program, businessbankruptcies.com, and you will have access to exactly where they are spending their money, where they lost their money, and, and so on. This is a very fascinating thing that bankruptcies are public unless there's a reason for them to be private, right? Because let's be honest, uh, whose money are they taking? They're taking other people's money, right? We'll talk exactly about their creditors and who they are. So, yep, that was May 20th. May 20th, receipt of voluntary petition. Fee amount $338. Congratulations for paying it. May 21st, pending deadline terminated. May 21st, trustee Albert Toga added to the case. Notice uh, May 21st, notice of Chapter 7 bankruptcy case. So shout out to Nick Strain from Pokemon and his take on it. I think my take is going to be slightly different, more legal. Um, I know that when they were looking at the creditors, he assumed that Baya Board Game Co., which is the print shop, was owed the most money. We're not going to find out the full list of creditors and exactly who has claims against them until later, until often much later as, you know, once they declare bankruptcy, then they have to reach out to these people who they owe money and say, hey, we're going through bankruptcy. You, you might, guys might want to file a claim now. So again, uh, we have uh, Baya Board Games Co. Limited. That is the people who print the board game. So uh, this is not by, by who is owed the most money. This is by alphabetical. Cardio.io, which is an app developer. So while they were busy making their new MetaZoo game, they actually didn't pay the people who made the game. Chase Bank, that's just probably who they have. Maybe they have withdrawals or fees. And again, when you are bankrupt, you can assume that a lot of fees are tacked on. And that, that bankruptcy is not good for anyone, it should be obvious to say. It's not good for the creditors, not good for MetaZoo, and certainly it's not good for the player base, right? But yeah, Chase Bank will get its fees. Marvel Entertainment LLC, people are speculating what this is. This is Comic-Con, this is probably some type of conventions. They've been to San Diego Comic-Con. I believe they did the Hello Kitty thing, and supposedly there was a line out the door, right? Out the convention, San Rio. Oof. You know, you do a collab and you don't pay these homies. Yikes, man. I mean, you look at the names on this and they have massive lawyers. So before the players ever get their reimbursement for the native, the players are not going to receive anything. The collectors were not receiving. These guys have lawyers. You guys don't even have claims. <laughs> I'll put it that way for you. You might receive like a, a, a tuna can. You know, like one of those things that you guys, right, you spend like $1,000 on pre-orders. You, you might get like 10 tuner cans from this company. Shopify Inc., which is their website. Uh, obviously, Shopify, probably how they sell their merchandise. SS Freight Forwarders, probably something to do with this distributor. And what's new? So what is what's new? Let's command C, what is new? Uh, new Gaming. So is this the gaming one? Jerseys, regiment, t-shirts, mask. Okay. Um, so this is their merchandise. Remember they had a shit ton of merchandise? Like they had like what five pallets of skateboards and stuff like that and t-shirts and hoodies. That's their merchandise. So again, 
pretty interesting. Uh, they're going to New York. Um, I'm barred in New York, so I actually would be interested if any of you guys have claims, substantial claims, probably over $10,000. I would be open to a hearing about it because I can practice law in New York on this specific bankruptcy law. And I do have a bankruptcy background, a very, very minor bankruptcy background, but I've worked on cases before for companies probably in, in the similar price range as this one. I didn't say cases, I worked on one case. So that, those are the creditors, they're pretty big and bad. I mean, you don't mess with Chase Bank, you don't mess with Marvel, and you don't mess with Sanrio, you don't mess with Shopify. I mean, between those, they're gonna get all the money. So like, if you're hoping to get money back, I'm just, and I'll also take a look at Nick Strange from Pokemon and his, but as a lawyer, what happens is all the money go to the lawyers. The lawyers get paid first, okay, then the creditors, and you might be like, oh, who gets the what? Well, it depends on how many lawyers these creditors have, okay? Um, the more lawyers these creditors have, the more likely they're going to be paid, and vice versa. Uh, it's a line. You get in line, and how do you get in line? You have a lawyer file for you. I'd actually be curious if anyone really had this much pre-orders, right? That they actually could be a creditor on it. Um, I don't think so. This is going to be very embarrassing for, it's going to be incredibly embarrassing for MetaZoo Games. It's public. MetaZoo Games, LLC. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of times when you think you're going to go bankrupt, you actually don't name the company like after the game. You could call it like MZ Games. And then people go, oh, so when you Google it, it doesn't come up. Right now, when I Google it, the first thing, because there's not been much many updates, is this, the bankruptcy docket of MetaZoo. Now, um, can MetaZoo ever recover from, essentially, this is an unmitigated disaster? No. It cannot. And, as, and here's what I'm going to tell you. The people on their creditor list, they're not getting paid. Uh, let me put this. They're not getting paid 100 cents in a dollar. You don't want to F with Sanrio. You don't want to F with... Like, basically, MetaZoo and his collaborations, I remember Mike Waddell was like, oh, we aren't going to do collaborations anymore. Well, it's because no one will do a collaboration with you ever again. Maybe that's a good thing, right? Pokemon doesn't do collabs, right? Like, especially in the beginning. I don't remember uh, Arby's base Pokemon, right? Or a, or a kit of, like, Hello Kitty Pokemon. I will say this. Um... There's no chance in hell with the current, in my opinion, with the current team, Mike Waddell, Andy, Shaw, whoever else is on the team, they're going to survive. Marvel has really good lawyers, as does Sanrio, as does Shopify. Unfortunately, this is where the money is going to go to lawyers. As a lawyer, I 100% tell you that they're going to take a huge chunk out of this that otherwise could have gone to the players and the collectors who are out money.